Now, WBC heavyweight champion Tyson Fury claimed a controversial split decision victory over former UFC fighter Francis Ngannou in Saudi Arabia on Saturday night. Ngannou put Fury in the canvas in round three of his pro boxing debut after connecting with a left hook. Let's get more in the weekend's action and speak to our boxing pundit and former European bantamweight champion Spencer Oliver. Spencer, a very, very good morning. How are you this morning, pal? Ali, Andy, how you both doing? I'm really well, Good, thank you. Spencer. Spencer, we're in top forum, mate. We've got a couple of guys on this morning. I'm going to give you my rundown Saturday. Got into the house, got my glass of red poured, watching the fight. I thought I'll have two sips of it and I'll go to my bed when it finishes and maybe round two. Nothing could have been further from the truth. Ali, I'm with you, mate. You know, we, uh, we're we all guilty of thinking it was going to be a one-sided contest. I think that Tyson Fury majorly underperformed and Francis Ngannou showed us that he belongs actually in a boxing ring. I mean, for a guy having his first contest, that guy's story is absolutely incredible. I yeah. mean, you know, where he's come from, how he's got to where he's got to, UFC champion. And now, like, you know, that, that controversial, I thought he won the fight. Hang you know, on. I thought he nicked the fight by a round or two. Um, the knockdown in the third round was was probably the deciding factor for me. A lot of fight, a lot, a lot, a lot of the rounds were close, but I mean, Fury couldn't get into any sort of rhythm. He couldn't work anything out. Francis Ngannou, he was switching from orthodox to southpaw, held his own. I mean, I don't know what you guys thought, but I thought he had a neck like a shock exorber. Like he was getting hit and it just didn't seem to have any sort of effects at all. And um, yeah, he, su he surprised the world. Yeah. Spence, so what do you think the Fury camp are thinking this morning? Um, he won the fight, but obviously he didn't win, win over probably anyone any neutrals out there, et cetera, with his performance. And is the Usyk fight now in any doubt because of the cut that he received? Well, this is an interesting one, right? Because I think the Fury camp were probably thinking, well, that was a touch. The boxing gods were with us because that could have gone either way. It was one of those sort of fights, you know, where it was subjective scoring with some of the rounding there. But like, if you had to pick a winner, you would go for, with Francis Ngannou. He was the guy that looked like the victor. And, and I think the faces told the story of that as well. Um, and now... Frank Warren was saying that, you know, he thinks that that fight is likely to take place early part of next year or so. Tyson Fury saying in an interview, saying, see you next year, guys. Have a great Christmas, et cetera, et cetera. Well, if you remember in the build-up, Tyson Fury was saying, listen, Alexander Rusik, we've signed the contracts December the 23rd. If you don't fight on December the 23rd, I'll see you in court. What happens now? What happens now? Because Alexander Rusik has now replied and said, listen, Tyson, you won't see us next year. You'll see me December the 23rd. Um, you know, but he said, because your your promoter said the, the contracts are signed and we have to get it on. I want to fight on December the 23rd. So I'll see you um, December 23rd. That's where we're at. So mm. it's an interesting one because it seemed likely that Fury was the one that was pushing for the fight in December. Now it looks like because he's had that hard fight, he mm. wants that little break. But Alexander Usyk is now saying, listen, we're on the contract. We're fighting. Spencer, here's a question for you, mate, right? I, I, I've, I've thought about this long and hard. Um, that fight at the weekend there, I, I, as I say, I watched the entire fight. Francis Ngannou, I thought, was absolutely different class. Mm. Alexander Ruzic, as you mentioned, w w along with just about every other boxer in the world, but world boxing was at the fight. He, he's watching the fight. See that fight on Saturday, Spencer. Does that... And, and, and we all know what, generally speaking, boxers are like. I like full of bravado and you know and and and, and they're full of confidence. But does that fight have a psychological effect on Tyson Fury? No, I don't think it does. I'll tell you why, Ali. I've, like uh, this is what he was got, guilty of, Tyson Fury. He's thinking, yeah, all right. Look, and Francis Ngannou, he's great in his own discipline, where he comes from, UFC heavyweight champion. But he's not boxed before. Forget that Mike Tyson's and and other uh, other great boxers are around him and training him, etc. For him to implement what he did on Saturday night, I think Fury underestimated him massively. He's gone in there, as we saw when he got over there. Like, I mean, what an event it was! The ring come up again yeah. out of the floor. They had the bands playing. It was as it was like an Olympic opening ceremony. It was it was incredible what they'd done on. And I think Tyson Fury actually, actually got carried away with his own hype. And when you go in there and underestimate a fighter, and then things don't quite go your, your own way, it's hard to get that back. So, mm. look, if he goes into a fight with Alexander Usyk, 
I don't think that there's any psychological damage there at all. I think it's just a fight, a case of Fury not being up for it. He didn't get into any rhythm. The timing was terrible. It's not. It's one of the worst I've actually seen Tyson Fury box. But that's down to the opponent and the build up. Not saying that he didn't train for it, but I think that mentally he didn't approach the fight right. And I think that's where the problem really lies. I think going into the Usyk fight, he knows he's in a real fight. He knows he's got to be on the top of his game, and that will bring the best out in a fighter, especially at this stage of their careers. Spencer, brilliant, mate. Thanks Thanks very much. Keep up the good work, mate. Hopefully catch you soon.